All right, so do you see this drug study? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so what I saw yesterday happen in class is when I was demonstrating the surveys, I had a field, I think it was database or date of birth that is required. Right. Okay, so this is required. So if I open this up and I put some name in here. And some stuff. Okay, this is something that I don't ever remember seeing before. This says the data was saved, but you did not provide a value. So if I say okay, and I close this, and I look at my record status dashboard, I get the incomplete uh, a partial survey response. I mean, it's flagged oh. as, as partial. However, it allowed them to enter this, which it didn't use to do. Right. I'm going to go back through the <clears throat> go back through some of the uh, previous version changes to see if this actually changed. But it didn't used to let you even submit. Right. But I noticed in class yesterday that it did. So yeah. anyway, you could this is this is not I don't know that this is significantly better than um doing the data entry and leaving this field out. The only difference, I suppose, or value is that you do see the um, partial survey response checkbox to let you know that your field hasn't been completed because <clears throat> if I come into that survey and I enter and um, put in a date, and then save it and look now you're going to see that it's complete so it would flag the ones that don't have the database i mean the date of birth so you could um, come back to it but otherwise it still saves it even though it's a survey okay so that's that's why you know in the end <clears throat> I'm I'm not I don't I don't think there's any I don't know why they have it this way if it's a required field I understand the way I described it in class <clears throat> which is the way it used to be made sense where if you were doing the data entry and you were missing a required field, you could still save it. You'd get the alert. It would save the data. But you would know because you were controlling the data entry. So that right. was OK. But if somebody is entering a survey, I, I kind of liked it better that it really didn't even go through unless they filled in that. So, so although, having said that, Donna, I think that now that I'm thinking about it, <clears throat> if I go to the designer and um, I go to my survey settings, 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Um, no. Uh, I was thinking that I could require only completed responses, mm. but I don't. I don't see that, and I really don't remember that. Okay. No, the only thing they have here is the, um, so let's just change this to completed responses only. And let's say we want a thousand. Oh no, that's just for the response limit. That won't preclude people from entering partials. Yeah. Okay. So that doesn't be any good either. Okay. <laughs> well, so I'm going to uh, check out um, I'll check out uh, with Vanderbilt. I'll check out the versions and see if there is you know something there but that's uh I'll see and I'll let you know okay okay thanks I appreciate it sure <laughs>